Yeah, we have an annual race against the University of Alaska Fairbanks. The Nanooks are coming down here, and best snow conditions right now are at Hatcher Pass, the Independence State Park area. So we're going to for sure hold uh, Saturday's classic race uh, up there. It's a 7.5-kilometer and 10-kilometer classic interval start. And as of now, the relay is up in the air, but we're starting to look at Kincaid. It has uh, decent snow conditions, and we're looking to hold the mixed gender relay on Sunday at Kincaid Park. You know, I think every skier this time of year has questions about their fitness. We've been building on our uh, exercise and training um, periodization since the beginning of the summer, and every skier is uh, getting a little bit anxious and wondering how, how it went and starting to get excited about testing what we've done so far and how much work they put in and if it's succeeded or not. And I think we're looking forward to, uh, to that first competition as a way to gauge where we're at and what we need to do moving forward into the winter. And Coach, uh, what's the uh, reason for possibly moving Saturday's event? I think we'd get a little more um, participation out of Alaska Pacific University. They have quite a few of their elite athletes still in town. Kincaid is a better venue for a mass start relay where you have more people on the course at the exact same time. Um, and uh, um, so I think we'd have a better race situation there um, with 10 to 15 people, relay teams on the course at the same time. Um, Kincaid Park just has wider trails, a little bit less skier traffic on the weekends, and I think we'd be able to hold a higher quality race event given that snow conditions are adequate. Does the, uh, does the Olymp being in the Olympic years, that change anything for you guys as a team? Uh, a little bit. We have some athletes that, um, particularly Casey Wright from Australia, is looking to qualify through our college circuit for uh, the Olympics with Australia. And we're working with her training plan a little differently than some of the other athletes to um, cater to that. Um, the excitement is definitely in town because Olympic trials are coming to Anchorage. They'll be here in January. So everybody will be coming up here to try and get those last few spots. And we're excited to be um, part of that uh, event and racing on our home trails for the Olympic trials. What are you most looking forward to this weekend? Um, I think I'm most looking forward to just racing fast again and getting into the race mode because nothing really can compare to putting yourself in that race situation. Like no time trial can compare to that and racing your rivals. You mentioned you had already had a chance to do a little bit last weekend. Um, I guess based on what you saw last weekend heading into this weekend, um, is there, a, I guess, a level of confidence you guys have? Or, and where is that confidence level now? I think this year our team is looking really strong. And like Coach said earlier, we definitely have a chance. And I think it's pretty likely that we could take down the Nanooks this year. Have you been able to get up to Hatcher and kind of scope out the course and get that advantage? Yeah, definitely. Even though Hatcher is about an hour and a half away from here, it's still technically almost a home course for us because we do get up there. We've been getting up there the past month every weekend at least once, and it's definitely been helpful for getting good snow conditions early on in the season.